Wheeling around a cart and filling it with promises of a tasty treat and a craving satisfied is probably just a usual 4 p.m. tradition for most of us. Label connoisseurs, we wade through a sea of choices like, how do the kids say it? That's right, like it ain't a thang. Yes, most of us are just on top of our grocery shopping game. But what would this experience be like for Sam? 14-year-old Sam who hasn't been inside a grocery shop with his mama since he was four. Today is a big day for him. But before we get to this moment, let's meet Sam and get to know him a little better. This is Sam. Ah, too strong. Where an expert would see severe mental impairment, cerebral palsy, autism, and a host of other problems, I see a happy, popular, much-loved teen who'd rather just sing through it all. Of my five children, I have four blessings and one very special gift. It's a gift Anna has worked on very hard to share with our little world in the caribou. The gift of this highly social teenager who's just looking to give someone a high five or a big smile. A smile that's even bigger when he's around his best friend Nicole. They're very good friends and I, I suppose you would say if they were typical kids they might be boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> He, he just finds a lot of joy here, and Sam has a lot to offer. Um, he brings a lot of joy to a lot of people's lives, and um, that, that needs to be shared. While he isn't standing on his head to make Sam smile, Taylor is helping Sam understand the world around him. After seven years by his side, even Taylor is drawn to Sam's sociability. <laughs> there are people who know Sam. Oh, hi Sam. Uh, there's children. Mommy, there's Sam! or hi Sam, things like that are so important, not only to me as his parent, but they are so important to Sam. You see, Sam's world is very different from yours or mine. Sam sees love, color, and games in everything. While he loves looking at pictures of food and magazines, the magazine is also a toy for him. It's this aspect of Sam's condition that made it challenging to take Sam outside as he grew older. It's also the reason why Sam hasn't been grocery shopping since he couldn't fit in the cart anymore. Fast forward to today. After 10 years, Sam's world is about to change thanks to an early Christmas gift from the Elves of Canada and Save On Foods in Quenelle. With the co cooperation of Save On Foods and the Elks of Canada, it gives us great pleasure to present this cart to this very deserving young gentleman. <laughs> Today, Sam is about to begin his long journey to becoming a checklist wielding, aisle racing, <coughs> cereal box connoisseur. Yeah, All thanks to this little invention called Caroline's Cart. An idea from a mother with a little girl with a condition similar to Sam's. A mother who did not want to find out what it would be like when her daughter outgrew a typical shopping cart seat. When you have a small child or a younger child, you want to put them in that cart. You want to have them with you. And you want to be able to interact with them and say, hey, should we get uh, Captain Crunch or should we get uh, Odeos or, you know, that kind of interaction is so important. This modified card can support a child that weighs 250 pounds and now helps over 1 million children all over North America to be an active part of their communities again. Yeah, we have a lot of shoppers that need a hand shopping and they always come in, they have a wheelchair and a helper and truly it's not a very, not a good situation. They, they, they struggle at best so you know, this has been a, a very, very good experience. The Elves are hoping that other grocery stores in the area will partner up with them to bring more of these carts into Quinell and help more kids like Sam experience things like grocery shopping and interactions with other people. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Anand Shandy. That's the first person to ride in it in Quinell. <laughs>